Okay, everybody, this is my second cut, I'm trying to keep the profanity down, all right? This is oil, regular vegetable oil, okay? This is Goya olives, or with pimientos, and we have no pits in there. As you can see, there's no pits in there, okay? Over here, we have some pork, okay? This is cooked pork. We cooked it. And I had to cut it up before I cook it, all that good stuff. Then this is the real hard part. This is called masa. M-A-S-A. -A. This masa is made from green plantains. And I bought like a box of it. Okay. Green plantains mixed with green platanos and white jaltia. This right here is the paper that we, um, the string that we use to wrap this paper up to make the ultimate feast called pastele, okay? Now, this is what a pastele looks like when it's wrapped up, okay? So as you can see, we wrapped it up. It's like a beef patty, somewhat like a tamale, but it's a Puerto Rican dish, okay? The Dominicans like to put raisins and corn in it, but me, I'm, I'm, I'm simple. Put a little bit of pork, put a little bit of olives, you already got your bananas and all that good stuff. Throw the hot sauce down with the ketchup and enjoy. It's a long process and you guys are going to see me do it. So, hey people, we're back online. So here we go. You take like a little bit of oil. Okay, you're only going to take like a little dab. And I put it on the paper. You see? That's it I need. Not a lot. And you just move it around like this. It's real simple. I got this little thing. Once I keep going, I just don't stop. Okay, now you take a, let me see, tablespoon of masa, right? You throw it in there inside the thing. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. That's all you need. So I'm trying to make a lot, you know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to make them as big, and I'm trying to make them too small, so just use two. Okay, two tablespoons. You could do two and a half if you want, but I don't expect, I don't think you should do that. Two is good enough. All right, because it's going to be squishy. So, that's done. I see how I layered it out. Then you take a couple of these. Okay, that's good enough. And I can move it around if I want. Okay, that's done. Then you take the pork. It has, you know, I already cut off the fat when it was raw. And you just break it up. You could do a lot more. You could do whatever you want. Like I said, if you guys want to put raisins, corn, potatoes. As you can see, I put like two little pieces of pork in it. But you got to break it up. You don't want the people choking. All right? Now, that's done. That's all done. Now we're going to fold it. So you fold it up like this. Stop it there, stop it here, take this, you increase it over here like that, bring it up, bring it up, you take this fork and you just bring it down, bring it down, see how I'm just increasing it, I'm just giving it a crease, that means I can bring this paper down more, so I brought that paper down to the crease, I should have did it before, right, everybody got their own way. Okay, that's done. Then you fold it again, and you leave it like that. See, you know, you see how you have like a plate underneath it? Increase it with your fingers, increase it. You have a crease with your fingers. Then you take the fork again, and you basically push the masa with the pork together. And you take this one over here and do the same thing. That's it. Then we fold it, which is easy because the fork already made it do it. Um, gave me the crease earlier. Now, the string. As you can see, you could cut the string as much as you want. Me, I usually do it from like my, my little, you know, I just basically try to measure it by the table. Not the length of the table, but a little bit. So you see how I'm, you lift up like this, right? Then you just tie it as so. 
have the middle. Tie this up like this, like that. Boom. I'll make another one to show you guys again. Okay? So you guys know what you're doing. And that's a pastelle. You see how I did that? Now, I'm set to make 100, but what I, what I bought, I really think I can make 300. So I'm trying to make it before Christmas. I'm going to give you another shot of me doing it again. We're going to go over this one more time. Pause. What's up, guys? We're back, okay? Put my little bandana on for you guys to see. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick because you move faster with your hands. Okay, so now my hands are washed. I already washed them before. Doing it again, keeping it clean. So, take a piece of paper, not regular paper. You gotta buy this paper from the Spanish spot. Lay it down. What do I tell you? Take a little bit of oil, put it in the middle. Go around and around and around. Now, people, a lot of Hispanic people use grape grape um, leaves to put in the middle of this which is green but you know what that's a little time consuming and I don't got that time one tablespoon two tablespoons of masa what's masa people plantains platanos and white jaltia you can find these vegetables in your local produce store because I'm a produce guy you call me PP, Produce Park. Anyway, here we are making pasteles, Puerto Rican style. And what I got right here is my olives. Now I'm putting my olives in the pastele. Again, you can dress it up however you feel fit. If you want to stick any type of food in there, go ahead, try it out. But we usually put olives, potato, and the pork. Perni is our joint. Perni is pork. It's basically like a whole pork roast. So what we did was I cut it, I cut it in little pieces while it was raw, and I actually bought it without the bone. So make sure, see how I'm breaking up the, 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 the pork? I'm trying to be grateful to the people and give the people enough meat. Okay, and I've been doing this for years before with my mom. Now comes the fun part. Now I'm gonna fold it, okay? Watch the foldings for some of you who wanna do this. I just go up one crease. I go on each side. I give it a crease on the left, give it a crease on the right, okay? Now I take my fork, and what I do is I try to give myself a crease with the fork. So as you see, I'm just pushing it down. Mom Dukes, I know, I know you love this. I got you when you come. I fold it again, okay? This is like my plate. I see this as a plate, because underneath it is like a plate. So I fold it again. And I lift, and I flip it. And I give it a little crease of my fingers on each side. I take that fork again, and I mash it to the the middle of the paper same way on this side I try to give myself a crease so when I fold it I don't have to kill myself folding it it's already gonna fold and like a plate like a plate you just see, you're just reinforcing the, the pastel on, the, on a plate that's how I see it now back to the yarn the string you gotta buy this when you buy the paper the, the Spanish spots they sell the paper and the, and the yarn together it's a lot of work when you're peeling those green um, bananas and then you got to cut the green plantains. Because I believe for every five green bananas you use, you need one platano. So if you're going to try to make this, buy five green bananas, one platano, and then don't forget, it's a, call, it's a white thing. It's like a brown and white thing uh, vegetable called yaltia. Just ask the produce people. They know what it is. Now, you probably can't find it in a uh, franchise um, supermarket, but you can get it from one of these Spanish supermarkets. See how I'm, I'm just making the tamale like that? 
And this is what I'm doing for my Christmas people. This is a Christmas gift. I'm making a couple of these to give away. And just wanted to say, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Puerto Rican style. Thug like baby.